Welcome back. Let's play some Tenmec games here on Shogi Wars. Uh, you, our loyal viewership, have brought it to my attention how the rating and ranking system works a bit better than I used to understand it. I thought the ratings and rankings are similar to 81 Dojo, and they are, but there is one difference. And that's that apparently if you're one Don on this site, you're probably two Don on the other site. Good luck. Uh, so this in turn mean... Okay. Interesting. Interesting. This in turn means I shouldn't be disheartened by uh, results on this site not matching the other site, but should instead expect that to be the case and be pleasantly surprised if it isn't. Just double check. Okay, the board is nice and large on this overlay as it should be. We have an ambitious opponent. I don't think I've seen this before, at least not in this way. Now the website does notify you if there is a bot account um, that's intended to be a bot account. This doesn't look like one of those circumstances. Interesting. It's a complex position for sure. Um, I think I can just chase the knight. Correct me if I'm mistaken. Well, it's not so simple. Um, but I do survive if I, like, deflect this knight. What I'm trying to avoid is a bishop fork picking off my lance and the rest of everything. I'm okay giving the pawn back. That's not a problem. And I don't see how they can drop a bishop to completely ruin my day. So... I think I'm doing fine. If they push the pawn and advance the silver, then I have this bishop drop forking a silver and a pawn. Right. So I'm just building high Mino. Completely normal shogi castle here. And... We'll try to survive whatever they are trying to throw at us. And I'm still threatening to push on the knight's head and just take the knight. But why rush it? Okay, that's why you would rush it. And I did imagine this. Um, oh. They have a knight fork coming up. That's unfortunate. Uh, wait, wait, I can avoid that. Instead of just leaving the gold vulnerable to this fork, I can move it. We'll pretend we saw that the entire time. You saw that, right? Yeah, we all saw that. All right. <laughs> totally not a coincidence.
Okay, see, they don't have a pawn anymore, so this doesn't have the same sting it used to have. And in fact, I can just drop another knight to defend against this knight, if I so desire. But I could just mow down the knight with my pawn. Um, they don't have reinforcements. Maybe they had a bishop drop forking my rook and pawn. Hmm. Oh, they got a pawn again. Nicely done. Uh huh. Well, looks like they will win my silver. Or they're gonna inconvenience me somehow at any rate. Um. Mm hmm If I retreat, Nanafun. then they drop a bishop and then retreat it back here. I don't know that they win when they do something like that. Or rather, they promote their knight here. That's a more potent threat. All right, we do have a guiding proverb which says take two for one, even if one of the pieces is a pawn. So we're going to take two for one. Yeah, I think I'm doing fine. If they drop the bishop, I can retreat. If they take this, I can take back. I'm not seeing a fatal tactic here. It's true, like, I've had to continuously delay attacking because they keep coming up with aggressive moves. Um, like, I cannot get an initiative because they just keep throwing away more and more pieces here. But I think there has to be some end to the madness when they run out of pieces. I guess they have a bishop drop. And then my rook protects my gold. Again, completely a coincidence, but uh, we'll take it. Maybe they're going to drop a silver forking these two, and then try to join that with a bishop. Um, anyway, this is why I would prefer to be in an attacking position instead of having to find every tactic here. I just need to find one winning tactic instead of every defensive tactic. But uh, it is what it is. Hmm. That's a bit more aggressive than I thought they would aim for. If I move my rook over, they drop a silver. I can... That's interesting. No, I don't live there. Alright, so I have to force them to do the tactic they're aiming at. No matter, I survive. Bishop takes... Um, it's probably best that I do gold takes, but I might have something better. Maybe I could bring the rook over? No, then the horse just runs away. Yeah, I don't have any tricks here. I have to just take that.
Uh, maybe it's best that I run. This sure is ugly. Alright, I run. I can imagine how people lose to an opponent who constantly comes up with threats. Even if no one threat ends up winning the game. All it takes is one slip and the game is lost. Like here, this might not be best. Maybe I should have continued running because if they check, they can drop up here and it's painful. Um... Gofun. My threat to win a silver is probably not enough compensation for my uh, not very good castle. If I could join this with a horse, this would be better. Um, They can drop a gold here. I can drop a rook on the rank to defend. And I guess they could take my lance. Welcome. I could take their lance in kind. Um, okay. That's crafty. Um, hmm. This is such a hard position to defend. Okay, I aim at their king. I'm trying to stop them from dropping a rook right next to my king. But they might drop it down here instead. And I might be dead. On the other hand, I might drop a bishop and might promote it or... I don't know. Anything can happen here. Drop a rook, I take, they take... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so they take this way. So this suggests that I've missed a tactic. They could drop a rook here, I drop a gold. They take my silver. I drop a bishop. I don't know. Or maybe they... if As they're taking these pieces, I take the lance and run away. That's probably a smarter move. Mm -hmm. Let's run, run, run. They might drop a silver somewhere.
They might also try to reinforce this pawn with the silver. Which would be kind of weird, but we've seen plenty of weird moves this game. Um, I think it's my turn now. I'm pretty sure it's my turn. So, why does this not mate? Sampun. Maybe it does. Welcome. Hello. I'm probably going to lose this somehow. Don't get it too attached to this game. Um. Nicely spotted. Nifun. Mm, I shouldn't have dropped the knight. All right. Um Ippun. Oh, I'm dead. Well, they're not spotting the mate. Um. Do they have another mate here? I think they do. They should just take my knight. Why do we have to do this the hard way? Q. 
can't move fast Gbio. enough because my mouse double clicks. Thanks for the game. All right, one down, uh, two to go. You see, that's what an 18Q opponent plays like on this website. I don't say that about the player. I say that about the rating system. Yeah. Good luck. The latter game that wasn't too dissimilar from this just the other day. In terms of me pushing a pawn out to no man's land like that. Um, well, this could be fun. Are you giving me a silver? I might be getting a silver here. I get a silver. You know what I can do with that, right? Now do you know what I can do with the silver? This looks fun. I don't care if this wins or not. We're going to have fun. Maybe I should care. Um, but after the last game, I, it's kind of hard. more in the mood that, hey, if I just throw things in this direction, something's going to happen, and there's a possibility of victory, and maybe that's good enough. Maybe that's a bit reckless, but again, motivated by the last game where I fought on for an eternity and nothing happened, we'll take this. I'm probably dead lost, um, and just further on tilt, but uh, we'll take what we can get. Maybe I need to demote in order to start caring. I don't know if that's going to help, though. I keep getting put on this pedestal of, hey, look at this guy's games. He plays good, and he's, that's because he's got this natural talent for it. Um, I'm not sure if that's quite true. It's not like I'm actively trying to disprove that or anything, but... Um, yeah, it doesn't make this any easier. Right, so do I take this and then swing over here because the king cuts the bishop? Maybe I'm just talented and lazy. That's gotta be it. That's probably it. So I get a tempo, because I I'm not even threatening to promote here. I'm just hanging my rook for no reason. That's cool. Um Yeah, they move the king and suddenly I just have to give up the rook. Um yeah, I should have saved this as a threat for later, because trying to execute it right now is no good. On the other hand, it spooked my opponent directly into the Path of Fire. So... Um, well, okay, if moving the Rook there were any good, we'd count that as a win. But Rook here, Silver up, Silver takes... Yeah, it's questionable at best. No, it's not. It's just bad. Um, 
Okay, we're going to hit this pawn to try to provoke them to block their bishop. They can even drop a lance and then take here and take there, and they're probably completely winning. Um, on the other hand, like, where else am I going to move the rook? I could move it to this edge, and then back over and back here. Yep. Mm-hmm. So... All right, we'll counterattack. Um, they can lift this. I can actually take here and drop a lance. Um, so I'm further giving away my remaining attacking pieces. But maybe there's some purpose to it. Yeah, I don't think what I'm doing is good enough, even though I have seven pawns in hand. Uh, if a gold, if a pawn is worth a thousand golds, how many golds are seven pawns worth? Um, yeah, I am getting cooked. So this is the Urashino opening yet again. I tried to play third file rook against it, and I'm just getting slammed here. Um, hmm. What do I do with so many pawns? Okay, here my best shot is to reinforce my rook. Even though my king is collapsing. Um, they can take this and threaten back rank mate. And that forces me to drop something. Probably my most economical drop here. Even though I really wanted to put it here. But, um, yeah, they can always drop pawns and other stuff over here and completely shut down my rook again. I should have resigned five minutes ago, but my opponent's playing around, so we'll play around a bit. It could just be that they're not accustomed to having such an immense advantage right out of the opening, despite playing Urashino, so they just don't know how to handle it. Or maybe they play Urashino because they don't know how to play this game. <laughs> that could be too. Alright, um... I've got to defend against this threat. Um, okay, I can actually win the horse. I could sack for this and then drop the silver back here to reinforce my castle and ensnare the horse. Yeah, they were threatening gold drop mates. So I had to respond to that. Um, it took me a second to recognize, like, dropping this silver here instead of there might not be best. Although looking again, hmm, I'm not sure. Like, this is a nice shape, but it doesn't compel them to move. Oh, plus I'm not... 
This isn't actually a trap. The horse could just come back here. <sighs> I'm blind. This is so bad. Okay, you want my rook. I'm pretty sure you have it. Um, I don't know why you want it. I can't drop a pawn on this file. Um... Okay, let's try to make a threat, or something that looks like a threat. That's cute. Um, hmm. Fine, I guess we'll try this. They're, they'll defend this point. Welcome, whatever artwork that is. It's probably not appropriate for, since most artwork on the platform is wildly inappropriate, but I can't see it, so I don't know. Gofun. Ah, okay. All right, finally, there's my initiative. It only took me 50 moves to play something with gain of tempo. Um, okay, then we sacrifice a third, a second pawn. I guess they can't take this. Okay, yeah. So, I'll have to sidestep the lance. I would go here, but then they just drop another pawn. Which I guess does block their bishop, but um, I didn't think about that. Alright, we get to take one of these. I get to hit the lance. And if I can take this and do this fork, that'd be kind of cute. If the bishop moves out, we can take a pawn and hit a gold and hit a pawn. So this is, I guess, my path back into the game. Mm -hmm. Why we had to go this route, I don't know. Okay, now I can use said lance to break up their castle. Oh, I guess my anti-spam bot is not working. But welcome, I guess. Um... But no, the only way that that is actually true is that if that's a link to this channel. Because we have the best viewers, right? How can I pander more? Um, maybe I should take the knight. Like, what am I going to use this rook for? Let's first ask our opponent that question. Hey, do you want to let me use my rook over here? I don't think they're going to take 
Okay, they do take it. So I actually can use my rook. Um, that was so dumb. I was distracted. That was so dumb. Okay, well... How can I try to make a game of this? Um, they just take the pawn. What am I doing? They might not take it. <laughs> That's the goal. The goal is for them to not take my pawn. Okay, they didn't take it. Phew! Okay, we'll just sidestep this. <laughs> okay, then we sidestep back, I guess. Is that the plan? Do I have a plan? I don't know. Yes, I have a plan. So after they take this, then we hit this silver. Okay, we don't need to hit the silver. We can take that. And then come back here. We didn't need that rook. I think my opponent is toying with me. We'll find out, though. If they actually manage to checkmate, then maybe they're not toying around. Maybe. Will they take the bait? I don't think they take the bait. No. They're too clever for that. Um, that said, we have this instead. What what are we playing? Is this actually shogi? Nifun. I'm so confused. Okay, well, I guess ELU, whatever his name is, lucked out this time, but we'll ban him next time. So, congratulations on your successful ban evasion. Um. Hmm, I'm so extremely confused. Ippun.
Thanks for the game. I can at least enjoy my water now. Two down, one to go. I should have taken the night. We can understand how after 19 minutes I might have been slightly tilted. Slightly disappointed that my um, bot that bans anyone for using links didn't actually work. Good luck. So I have to fix that too. In addition to fixing my massive losing streak. But that's okay. Okay, we'll just keep ignoring the pawn. I don't feel like playing Pac-Man right now. I mean, with any luck, they're on their way up to one Don, and I won't have to see that opponent again. Um, but also, this just underscores how I'm like not particularly skilled at this game. Okay, well then. If this is how we're playing... Um, they're not even building the castle the normal way. That's cool, I guess. Let's just go this way, then. That pawn's not gonna stop me. The silver's gonna stop me. If it gets into position, which it didn't. <sighs> Alright. This works for me. Oh no, he built a big, scary castle. Whatever will I do? Well, he's not going to use this file, so... We'll just build a really similar castle. I didn't win a pawn or anything like that, but... Um, all their pieces are bundled in one corner. Maybe I should have jumped the knight. I don't know. I know bundling all the pieces in one corner is kind of what the opening aims to do. But they might be taking it a touch literally here. Normally, you'd want to have a gold somewhere around here, I think. Um. Oh! We're going here. Okay. I thought you would, like, take and make this a little challenging. Um. I'm, I apologize if this is rude. And surely it must be rude, but, um. You've seen this before, right? Like, I don't understand why an opponent rated one Don would play uh, extremely aggressively like this. There's something to it, I just don't understand it. So I've solidified the center point. I don't want your pawn. Um, so I'll just... Okay. Fair point. Um... My gold is protecting the center, though, so I can just take this way. If Rook takes, I just take here. I don't need the Rook. They might promote this first. They don't. Um...
Okay, so our opponent successfully, um, for some value, successfully built uh, the bearer in the hole castle. Um, but then tactics <laughs> happened. And they're trying to insist that this is fine. I'm just a bit spellbound that Not we're nothing. actually doing this. Yeah, it took me a minute to realize I have this. And so it's fine for me to just back up the gold. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I survived the opening phase. Go Fun. Okay, 
this is anchored by my pawn, so it won't hang. I hope I don't blow this somehow. It's still possible to lose. It's very, very possible to lose. Um, that's interesting. They have to defend this. They don't have a choice. And it's not clear that the defense is going to hold either. I'm going to reinforce this attack. Um, they do have a pawn in hand. Hmm. This is actually my clearest path forward. Picking off the knight, and then picking off this knight. Or if I get the knight, I could drop it here and exchange it. And then take out one of these generals, probably this one. So I should take this. <sighs> the coward's way out is to take the pawn. I think I'm at this point. I'm a coward. So, um... Sampun. Interesting. I don't have mate. Why do I not have checkmate? Oh, okay. I have to lead with this then.
Goodness. Thank you. It took me four attempts to click that piece without double clicking it. I have a great mouse. It's fine though. I think I can convert this. Somehow. I think I have good chances here. Thanks for the Alright, we won one. Uh, so that's three games done. Um, yeah, we made it back to 80% somehow. Don't ask how. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.